How your body works during the swing, take one. All right, let's get into another area where we're talking about how your body reacts and, and really the concept of overall concept of hitting and, and how your athleticism works into hitting. Uh, it sounds real wordy, but it's real simple. Uh, if you get this concept down, it, it, it kind of it, it makes sense. Uh, as the, the longer you, you might not get it right away, but the longer you think about it, the more it makes sense. It, it, in hitting, it's not so much the muscles we train to work it's the muscles we train not to work and if we can quiet muscles down and have them do nothing and then we have the muscles that we're supposed to be using during hitting work we're going to have a swing if you hear a, a good swing described most times you'll hear it described as man look how smooth and easy and fluid that swing is effortless those type of words well it's not effortless they're putting a lot of energy and torque into a swing they're just making it look effortlessly effortless or it looks like they're not putting a lot into it well, what, what you're doing when you're trying to hit is you're having a whole group of muscles work and then you're having a whole group of muscles that need to stay quiet, stay out of the way, stay relaxed. And that's what, that's what training is all about, is training those right muscles to swing and those right muscles to, to uh, stay quiet. Even within the muscles that are working, all of them don't work at the same time. When you get ready to swing a bat, you don't, you don't get, it, get ready to start and then everything goes at once. It's a, it's a uh, progression through your body of muscles and we'll just number and say, and there's, there's more than this, but uh, we'll just say one through 10 to make it simple, okay? Numbers one through 10. When, when the first group of muscles start, the first muscle starts, one engages and it begins movement. And then as it, as it releases its energy, two begins to engage and one kind of dissipates. As two engages and get, releases its energy, then three will engage and two will dissipate. Then four will engage, three will kind of calm down a little bit. Sometimes five and six might go at the same time, and then and then they'll four will kind of uh, you know s s uh, subside down. Then seven, then eight, will, and then the earlier ones will subside down. Then nine, you see the pattern forming until you finally get to number ten. One through ten, we're not working all at the same time. A lot of times in drills. And, and things that you're doing out there, you've got too many muscles working at the same time. And, and the drill it could be correct. I mean, all drills are correct. But the, the thing you're doing could be throwing your sequence out of order. And that's why professional hitting instructors, what we, what, what we do and what other professional hitting instructors do is they watch and they, they find out where there's some conflict in your swing and where there's some, there's some, some pushback and some friction and what you're not what you know, you're putting up resistance that's not allowing certain parts of your body to work so it's very important to be to be very specific when you're training when you're doing your drills that we're going to show you you've got to be very very cognitive of what you're supposed to be doing here because it's very easy to do the drill wrong everybody can get a tee and put a ball on it and hit it that has nothing to, to do with being a successful hitter uh, you can stand up here and swing at four at, at, at 200 balls the wrong way and you'll just be tired when you're done and you'll be 200 balls away from being a successful hitter in the opposite direction because you've trained your body wrong. You can sit up here and put the ball on the tee 40 times, swing at it correctly and walk away much closer to being a success than you would if you sit here for two hours pounding balls. And uh, doing it the right way is very, very important. You can see here we're sitting here with a, a beat up old tee and a beat up net and that's that's pretty much what it comes down to you don't have to have a lot of fancy equipment if you have a tee and it looks the same way it did when you brought when you bought it home and brought it out of the box you're not hitting enough your tee should be beat to beat the, the mess beat out of it okay you should be looking at it it should be frayed you should wear tees out not down in here but up in here from hitting the balls off the tee the balls that you use you should wear them out the bat you have you should wear it out everybody's worried about keeping their bat looking good Hey, guys that have brand new bats typically don't get a lot of hits. Okay, plain and simple. Zig Ziglar, uh, a lot of you guys don't don't really know who Zig Ziglar is. He's a, a professional tr uh, sales trainer, trains uh, professional salespeople, and he's got a famous saying that uh, timid salesmen have skinny kids. And bat, I, I kind of adopted it where uh, guys with brand really brand new bats and, and shiny bats really aren't hitters they they, they don't get many hits because they're so worried about keeping their bat new 
If you've got a game bat, that's fine. Keep it that way. But you've got to have a bat that you're willing to get in there and get dirty with. Okay, you've got to get up, get in here and just pound balls and do it the right way and concentrate on your movements. And that's what's going to help you to be a successful hitter.